Some guy getting in his van over there probably thinks I'm really nuts doing videos. I'm on my favourite walk in the world and as you can see it's a bitter cold morning and I think it's round about the 8th of December 2022 a Thursday and uh, I'm off work for three days right and in December shut down on my holiday so I've got to take them or I'll lose them so here I am Taking the girls work, that's namely Kaz, wife and daughter back. Oh, it's cold, I think it's showing. <laughs> minus 30 on my car. I don't think it's that cold, you know, look at it, minus 30. Oh dear. I think it's about freezing or minus one or two at <laughs> more maximum. Oh, right, I just noticed I'm just going to sit back in the car, just warm up. Got me uh, heater on, as you can hear. But I'm just looking at them sheep, have a lot of it, got wally jackets, eh? There. Oh, mine, eh? If they'd been out all night, I doubt it. I'd put it, I don't know. Do they keep them out all night? I wouldn't think so. Could agree. But if they're out for grazing, they ain't big. Yeah. Well, they're going to have the ice version, I think, this morning, for a while anyway. I can't even see it falling, to be honest with you. Even uh, when the sun comes up for some time, um, I think we're going to still remain in the freezing freezing temperatures for the rest of the day. I'll call it up anyway, it's not nice, isn't it? cold but fresh and yeah it's something nice about it especially in the country when it's white over like this just need, they just need it yeah can you hear them background Blot, don't they? God, God, have a lot of the blotting in this in these conditions. I'll stop now. Oh, oh creep. Let's get this window back up. Meeting on. Stepped outside the car, proper. And I'm braving it because this is what I've come here for, as much as anything. Because I don't very often get to see the sunrise. Because I do this in the summer and springtime, me walks up here more than anything. I've been up here quite a few times in the winter, but sometimes in the evening, even in the dark, setting my car off for quite half an hour. Um, but yeah, it's a, very, it's a rarity to catch the sun coming up here this time of the year. As I've already said on my other video, it's the, I believe, the 8th of December 2022. There's horses in the uh, field there. Good grief. they got coats on. Oh, hardy things, aren't they? You know, they are this couple in there as well. Like, Quite dark, let's, let's tap it up, see if we can get it lighter. But yeah, there's a sun coming up in all its glory from the east. Which is over towards Derbyshire and the Peak District. 
and then here we can see the moon going down <laughs> that time of year there we are and that I would say is in the west east and west eh yeah, that's nice. Oh, look, little pony looking at me here, talking to myself. It's wondering what the hell I'm doing. Hello. You're a little beaut, aren't you? Hey. Is that mummy there? Hey. <laughs> Got a face like our Millie, the dog. And it's uncolouring. Oh. Right. I'll have a little walk. As you can hear, underfoot. The grass being quite crisp and frosty. Love it. I'm a bit cool though, I've got no jumper on. I've got my coat on, obviously, and just got it. T shirt on underneath it, but it's not too bad. And survive it. So have a 10 minute walk. Okay, that's me done now for the videoing on I always forget the name of this road. It's the road off um I'd say it covers wall lights on the way to Delorn. Uh, I know these these farms are called Bank Top Farm. You'll know where I am if I do upload this video because I've done it many times. This area. Right. Finally, the last video for this morning. I've got to do a video of these two horses because I've never had so much attention off two horses together. They look so dormant, <laughs> it's because it's so bloody cold, I think. I've got the coats on though. Come straight over to me. You're beauts, aren't you? Hey, come on then. Come on. There you go. This one showed its teeth last time I stroked it. This one's the, I think the gaffer, because it's just bullied this off a little bit. Watch it in a minute. Come on then. Hey, I can't give you any grass. So I normally pull a bit of grass this side. Uh, when, we, when I've been up in the past with the horses. Um, and I think they do expect it, that's why they've come over, because I suppose probably a lot of folk do it. Because there's normally like long tufts of nice green grass for them here. But as you can see, uh, it's the ice version. <laughs> Just couldn't find them anything with the uh, itty. You're beautiful, aren't you? Hey, you are beautiful. You are. Look at them. God, they're strong looking things, aren't they? Horses. All muscle, hey. Hey, aren't you? Yeah. Look at that. Lovely. And you. And you are. Come on then. This one's a little bit shy, aren't you? Hey? Yeah. You're on camera. I've got you. Right, I've got to go because I'm getting bloody cold now. There you go. Look, see. Told you this is a gaffy. That's... Oh, you bully. I'm off. Oh, I said last one was the final video, but I couldn't help myself <laughs> videoing that. Right. Finally, finally, finally. There's the sun again, coming up a little bit more from five, ten minutes ago. As it does in the day, it gets higher and higher, but not as high as it does, obviously, in spring, summer season. Boom. Grief, it is freezing just holding this. Tax it takes crack. Uh, oh, I can't even talk right, my lips have gone that cold. It takes cracking videos, this phone does though. This is a Hawaii, a Huawei, I can never pronounce this. Huawei Mate Pro 10 or 20. I think it could be the 20. Mate Pro 20. I've had it about four years and now I'm running it on the uh, sim only so I'm getting value for money now uh, but yeah 
does it takes good photos and it's not bad on the video and if I'd got the uh, the gimbal on it, it does my head in though setting it up um, it actually really does cracking videos when I'm walking just stabilizes it like I say I just it's just too much trouble getting it balanced up okay so I've done on this frosty cold December morning Yeah, a bit of a story, but hey um, lovely round here, isn't it? This is why I used to cycle it. But yeah, hopefully, long story short. So yeah, this particular day, I've been up the bank, I got to the top of it, and I thought, wow, that's not right. And my chest, I thought I was having a heart attack, in truth. So I went back to home. It's only, what, five minutes up the road? Um, 10 minutes max until I got back home and that was really the end of me cycling days unfortunately um, I did have a little bit of a flat cycle session um, flat road if you like but I just I haven't got the heart in it excuse the pun but it wasn't my heart it turned out I think it was down to I knew I've got problems, I've got to be honest with you, because I had, had for some time prior to that, I always knew there was some at all, and it was uh, clot on my lung that turned out to be. But hey, anyway, I got over it, here I am, nine on six years later. Um, but like I say, I'm always a little bit dubious of doing anything strenuous, particularly being on my own, so. But it's nice come down here. And uh, I do drive it, uh, and I know you can. Wow, well, in the winter it's normally pretty rough because it gets a wash down here with it being low ground, banks either side as you can see. And there is a, to my left hand side here, there is a, a brook where the water naturally drains off, and you can't. You can see the, yeah, you can just about see like a dike there now on the left. But, 
when you have a lot of rain it obviously comes over onto this road and trust me it can be awful driving down it but this morning frosted over we haven't had any rain for a while so here they are as you can see you've got all the leaf fall from the oh, autumn the side. traffic is being held on the air yeah think. that's me traffic announcement yeah so yeah beautiful isn't it and the beauty about this I used to go right across the level, what I call the level, going up towards uh, Cabers Wall Lights from Western Coyne. Wasn't level. And it was quite a bit, it actually quite receiving. It was always lag work, but it wasn't too bad. But it come up to this, oh, there was a bit of leg work coming up from Cabers Wall Lights, and he did a right up to the turn off the dill and then come up to here, to Bank Top Farm, and then he had this. As you can see, this is all down bank. And trust me, I used to be out of breath and every time I got up there, but I could just pedal down, come off the pedals and let it roll down here. And it used to be the air filling your lungs up and getting my strength back up and my lungs filling my lungs. It, is, it was beautiful. I, I really enjoyed it. That's why I love this cycling route. I found it, well, I knew it was here prior to cycling, obviously, but I thought, First time I tried it out, I thought I'll have a go at that because I knew it wasn't much more than what 40 50 minutes cycle all around. Um, and I wasn't even back on myself, there was a beauty of it as well because I hate doing that. I say hate, I don't, I'd rather not, I could not do it. Uh, so, yeah, this comes out down near to the Foxfield railway line that crosses over from Blythe Bridge over to Dillon and you do a right here at the junction when we finally get to it which isn't too far away now if you do a left you go to Dillon right you go to Caversville it's a lovely part of the country this is or should I say part of east of Stoke-on-Trent I've enjoyed it I have some nice uh, times down here walking and cycling and just enjoying the country it's beautiful people don't take it for granted it's beautiful look how can you beat this call me cheapy this is to rattle on when I was young in school, and my mother took me to see another story. Um, <laughs> Preschool nursery, um, Miss Avery and Miss Hopkins. They were uh, teachers. And they decided to call me in the wisdom, cheerfully. <laughs> hey oh, I mean, I, it would have stuck, I, I suppose, if, it, if my mother hadn't gone down when she found out. Because I went home one day. And I, I must have told my mother, I can't remember exactly what I said to my mother like. But I can remember them saying, I just chatter, chatter, chatter in the classroom. And they said, Chirpy, shut up, or something like that. We can call you Chirpy. So I went to them and I said to my mother, Mum, they can call me Chirpy. They can call me Chirpy. I can vaguely remember my mother saying, Calling you, calling you Chirpy, are they? We'll see about that. And I can remember it. <coughs> and I went, I took me school the next day and I went and see Miss Ailey and Miss Hopkins and I don't know whether she went to the head teacher first the head teacher could have been with us anyway it, uh, it quickly put a stop to the uh, <laughs> my nickname my newly found nickname Chirpy So, uh, yeah, I could have been uh, known as Chief as uh, my life went on, but I wasn't. I don't think it's that bad. Uh, 
careful on these roads. Uh, a bit narrow in places. Always be prepared to do the passing thing. Oh, this is gorgeous, this is. <laughs>